Don't go away. Don't go away. Oh, that. Ah, yeah, sure.
please join me in extending a Pennsylvania-sized welcome to the President of the United States. constitutional right to select we thank you also mr. president for your defense of the childhood, I was always told about the luck of the Irish. And I have the delight of being back in the great state of Pennsylvania. Those who chose the location where they shrine did their job well. General George Washington and his ragtag army, many of the soldiers without shoes, endured a winter of despair. And it was in that time of darkness for America. Kosciuszko. <laughs> these heroes, these sit. I just had the opportunity of visiting the memorial of that great Polish statesman, composer, and pianist, Ignacian Paderewski. He saw in the eyes of Polish immigrants a great love. We were then the end of the United States. Today, we were the most powerful power in our nation for 40 years. Now, the fifth million people found work in the last 20 months. Our European allies are calling this the American nerve. Small business corporations are a record high. Productivity is what I suggest. With research is your own, dating the way. Next time, rather than say things that seem to run down America, how about giving the American people a pat on the back? I believe you're blessed with one of the best governors in our nation today, Dick Thornburg. Dick has a great gift of being able to pull community in many of your fine universities, like the University City Science Center, Pennsylvania, Penn State, Lehigh, Bucknell, Lafayette, Carnegie Mellon, University of Pittsburgh, and other collection of our country. No longer 
is an ever-increasing share of your earnings. More of your earnings are staying with your families in your neighborhoods, in your state, right where they belong. We've got... I say it's the wrong answer. And what about the future? Just to pay for the spending promises he made will require a tax increase of almost $2,000 for every household. We want to build a fire of hope that links all America together. Because with all of us going forward together, we can build an American Opportunity Society that gives every person an equal chance and a much greater chance to pursue the American dream. I think we should take our... ...of the past. Enterprise zone legislation is a good example. House of Representatives. and take us back to the days of defeat and self-doubt. I do not believe in an America divided by... I believe in an America inspired by opportunity, each of us challenging the best in ourselves. The new patriot, the dignity of work, respect for family, faith in a loving God, these past three and a half years, we've been making it a better country, a country of great. Oh! That's how I saw it for more years, more more. Down the new path of hope and opportunity. Just over 300 years ago, William Penn and a hearty band of settlers came here to establish as a friend in the White House. All of that, a brave woman made her way to the American Embassy under the watchful eye of martial law, the kind of treasure one places in a prominent place in the security of a home. There's a message to all of us in every stitch, and that message is, please don't forget us because we're part of the same family. Now, for those of you who can't see it, the tapestry has the image of the black man. to stitch very carefully so the words, in God we trust, are very recognizable. And I think she was telling us that the people of Poland share that trust. And she sent this. As Anniversary of Our Lady of Czechoslovakia, which we celebrated in 1982. No good. Here. The defense of Vienna, Polish nation, and our King Sobieski. He defended Christianity. It was Paul asked him, and Paul said that the Poland is always faithful. Custom of our Polish people that to our friends who are wishing a hundred years and a good health, Zdrowie, na Zdrowie. Holy Father said that our second. Oh, oh, oh.